can update us on the Laramie situation? You know, just the, the fact that a uh, process has begun, um, and I know very little about it to be to be very quite uh, quite honest. I, but I'm very uh, confident that uh, I know the way things are done around our place, and, and I'm very confident in the person that Laramie is, and uh, I know that we will cooperate uh, fully with with whatever uh, is is going on, whether it be. Uh, with the NCAA or with uh, the, the criminal part, um, but again, just extremely confident in who we are and our core values and the way we do things. And you know, Laramie's uh, one of the finest uh, I've coached, and I have great confidence in who he is. If the season started today, would he be on the field? Absolutely. Yeah. I know you guys are looking into it, but do you feel comfortable calling any or all the stepfather's allegations totally false? Say that again. Do you feel comfortable calling any or all the stepfather's allegations completely false and knowing there's an investigation on it? No comment. Do you have an opinion on the state flag and whether or not it should be changed? You know, in the, in the late 90s, our university, uh, you know, made a move to, to go away from the uh, Confederate flag. and. You know, being a Mississippian, I, ha I have a great appreciation for the Mississippi people and the pride they have and the, the heritage and all those things. Unfortunately, that you know symbol's been hijacked by some groups that uh, mean ill will toward toward you know some people. While I'm not a political figure, um, I, I strongly believe it's time that you know we move in a different direction and change the flag. Uh, you know, and, and hopefully uh, that will happen. Is there a motivation for you guys right now based on how the season ended? It is for me. Yeah. You know, I haven't really been uh, with the uh, the kids enough. You know, that, that's one of the the things that uh, you know, our strength staff's doing a phenomenal job, and I get reports from them and and, uh, and all of those things. But um, I try not to. Uh, I try to pace myself because uh, one of the things I'll talk about, uh, you know, as, as far as being the leader of a program is you want to finish well. And uh, we had the previous two years, you know, finished pretty well. Uh, we did not last year. A lot of that had to do with TCU, give them credit. But uh, I learned a, a lot of things too about preparing for a, a big game like that that I'll do differently next time and, and digging with our kids. And I'm certain that uh, our kids, uh, I, I think it motivates them. We don't talk about it a lot, but uh, I think it's very important that uh, that we look at why we didn't finish representing ourselves well. Um, you know, I don't know if we'd have won the game or not. We had some we had some injuries and things that, uh, but that still we should have competed, and uh, and hopefully uh, we'll learn from that and it will motivate us. What was their demeanor like in the days right after? Well, I wasn't really around them, yeah. you know, because everybody parted the bowl and went different uh, directions. But in our first team meeting back, you know, the, the seniors to be, um, we, we had some. There were some good words exchanged in there that uh, made me un made me feel like anyway that uh, they get it and uh, they they want to they don't want to repeat of that. Of the newcomers, uh, I know Clemens. We said her. He's not there yet. Who's not? Who all is there and who hasn't been cleared yet? Uh, everyone is uh, cleared with the exception of uh, Rasul and uh, Custis. Um, we expect uh, Custis to uh, to be cleared. We're not confident uh, that Rasul's could happen. Um, he, he's probably headed to the junior college route. Hugh, how do you feel about the offensive line, the rest of those guys? Do you have any of those guys back that were, I guess, missing or injured during the spring? Oh, you know, we, we missed so many in spring. Yeah, they're all back right now. Um, I'm excited. I think we have a chance to be very good in the offensive line if we can stay healthy. You know, that's uh, – I've said all along that it would take us three full recruiting classes to get our depth chart right, and we should be there. We're not quite there at, uh, at a couple spots, but offensive line, we should have quality depth if we stay healthy. Excited about the return of, of Aaron Morris. He's down to 312 pounds, looks good. Um, you know, Sean Rawlins is back, Robert Conyers is back, Durante Bolden's back, um, Christian Morris is, is, looks healthier. Um, seems like I'm missing one, but, uh, but they're, they're all in full go right now in workouts with uh, Coach Jackson. Okay. Uh, nothing against. Mike Hilton or C.J. Johnson, but you've got one of the best junior classes you know yeah. ever at Ole Miss, and you didn't bring Kim Dietschy, you didn't bring yeah. Treadwell. Is 
are you like specifically trying to tamp down expectations for that group or no you know no. why wouldn't you bring guys like that who have such national well appeal? if if you were walking in my shoes then you know to me you you earn the right of great leadership and uh, Mike Hilton and Evan Ingram when you when you look at the totality for me it's not just about the player and what he does on the field and and obviously we're excited about Laquan and Robert and Laramie and Tony Connor and all those guys but over the course of a, of a three-year period, the leadership that's been provided to our team by Evan and, and Mike Hilton, our Chucky Mullins Award winner, you know, I know what media want. You guys want a story. You want a story. That's, you know, but for us as coaches, man, you, you, you earn that right. And the good thing about our program is that it was a difficult decision. We had a lot of kids that I felt like, man, that kid could do it and so we spent a lot of time with coaches about a week really thinking about uh, you know who would be the ones I wish I could draw more